Now you've probably seen shade netting being used in the farming industry, at your local garden center, or even as a carport. But there's a lot more to this material that you need to know about before heading off and buying it. Now shade netting or shade cloth is made of a polythylene fabric that is knitted together to form a netting. Now polythylene is used as it is good at deflecting both heat and light, yet it's able to stand up to permanent exposure to the elements as it is UV resistant. Now shade cloth is also very strong for its weight and it will not unravel if torn or cut. Now shade netting density is rated in a percentage from 20% up to 80%. The higher the percentage, the more sunlight is being blocked. So a shade cloth with a 20% density blocks 20% of sunlight, while a shade cloth with 80%, you guess it, blocks 80% of the light. The common colors are green and black. Now shade cloth does allow the rain to penetrate, especially on the lower percentage numbers, and it protects whatever is underneath from hail as well. Now if you're using shade cloth over plants, you'd need to know what plants require what percentage of shade. Shade cloth prevents sunburn to the plants, so it goes without saying that plants that grow in a heavily forested area need a higher percentage. Now if you're putting up a carport, then an 80-90% would be enough. Think of it as sunglasses for your car. Now installing shade cloth is a walk in the park. It's lightweight, pliable, it cuts easily with a pair of scissors or utility knife. And hanging shade cloth is just as simple. I'd highly suggest you get some small cable ties. In fact, I'm busy doing some very early setup work on a veggie garden. Let me show you how I'm installing it. So these gum poles have already been cemented in and the straining wires have been pulled tight across the sides and the roof. We've pre-installed two sides and half the roof. Let me show you how easy it is on the other sides. Now start by hanging your shade cloth along the top of whatever you're attaching to. In this case, the wire. Then every 30 to 40 centimeters or so, wrap a cable tie around the wire, pull it through the shade cloth and zip it tight. Now try if possible to thread the cable tie through the holes on the edging as this part is stronger than the rest of the netting. But if you can't, don't stress, shade cloth is very strong. I can then pull the shade cloth tight along the wire and continue attaching using the cable ties on the second side of the garden. Keeping the shade cloth evenly tightened across the entire side is probably the most difficult. Just do your best. Now that we've hung this side almost like a curtain, we can attach it to the gun pole. Now you can either use a cable tie or a U-nail. If you use U-nails, just fold it over a few times before you secure it to the timber. Now that we've secured it on both sides, I'm gonna pull the shade cloth underneath the bottom wire, attach it with a cable tie, and then trim off the excess at the end. When you get to the internal poles, just cut a slit in the shade cloth. It makes it a lot easier to bring it underneath the wire and onto the inside where we're working. I can then secure it with the cable ties to the bottom wire. Notice here how I have threaded the cable tie a few centimeters above the wire. So as I pull the tie together, it pulls the net downwards. And you'll also notice I'm not using excessive force here. So we've hung the shade cloth from the top, we've tensioned it on the bottom wire, secured it to the posts. What's outstanding now is to attach it to the middle just to prevent any flapping. Now a handy tip here, if you don't have anyone on the other side of the shade cloth to pass the end of the cable tie back to you, is just to fold the end, give it a good squeeze with a pair of pliers, push it through and when you pull it back, the end will come through underneath the wire. Now cable ties are ideal for this use. They're incredibly strong and they do allow some movement around the wire. Best of all, they're really easy to use. Now same procedure for the roof. I'll attach one end, pull it tight and then attach the other end. I can also use cable ties to join the two lengths of shade cloth next to each other. If you are needing to join shade cloth, try not to have too much of an overlap. In this case, 40% plus 40%, you're effectively doubling the density. There we are, veggie gardens done. We get to keep the monkeys and the harsh lighting outside we get to grow our own inside, but more importantly, shade cloth is such a versatile product. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Builders has a full range of shade cloth, both in-store and online at builders.ca.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.